and what it like my what I recall from that was that those funds changed because we were not we were not appropriately funding several accounts that are required through our bond initiatives. Mm -hmm. You recall that in the last year and a half? And so moving those funds makes them you know, restricted. to this scenario is a little odd. Some of those funds are there to do things on water treatment. But if we do that, we have to, if that means it's not maintenance, then we can only use that for things that are not maintenance. So that requires the engineering, the whole, you know, whole different level of process. Right now, these all fall under easier for us to address, on the one hand, uh, it may mean that we can't use some of those funds, which I'm not sure we want to anyway, um, but there's just sort of an odd, an odd little thing in play there with those funds, and I want to make you aware of that. Thank you. Yeah, that's correct, yeah. It's kind of a gray area, and I think the main fund that's in question is the uh, capital improvements for water. And, uh, I, I think that we need a, a written opinion on whether we can or we can't use those funds for that because it's it's really close, but I'm not comfortable enough to say absolutely. <coughs> so, so you The only thing we really have on that is Chief Leslie is applying for a grant from the Rotary for a piece of equipment for the fire department. And Mike, do you want to make any kind of announcement on the fundraising you're doing? Um, as of <coughs> the other day, I'm at $4,990 I've collected and at, or have been sent by to Another thousand going out of a six thousand in here. Mm -hmm. Schedule, but just uh, briefly again, what we're going to look at, we're going to meet, plan to meet tomorrow at 5:30. Uh, again, hopefully everybody that is on that group can be there. But we're looking again at the SWOT analysis that we presented to you guys last month uh, from our previous meeting. We're going to take that and prioritize the top three things in each category, so we have a little bit better game plan of what we think are the top needs for for them from a youth perspective for the city of Louisiana. And then also, we're going to start talking about actions and ways we can make those priorities, you know, come to life and what kind of projects we can do to help benefit the community. And then also, uh, they have been reviewing uh, Mayor Neener and, and the column that he put in the paper here, in the whole papers here recently to kind of outline the priorities of the city that, that the council had decided. So we'll, we'll discuss that and start talking about, you know, how, how that looks and, and what ways we can help there, too. So I, I was hoping to bring you something a little bit more more meat, but I could talk 30 minutes like those guys. <laughs> 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 eggs thrown at me. So, anyway, so uh, next month we should have obviously a bigger report having the chance to meet and go through this again. So is there anything from... So I would just uh, say that, and, and I pass out a, a reminder to council about this, maybe what we'll do is we'll just, we can send you our comments or our thoughts on the sure. spot analysis. Yes. And then you can kind of incorporate that into your meeting next week, so we get that the next 
Do you want us to hand them back in, or what do you want us to do? I think you just give them to him. You're welcome. Right. It's just kind of a, kind of a no, item to go along with. I just well said two instead of three. So that's the school that's district fine. talked with Dr. Basin about possibly giving the youth council some time at our mm -hmm. school board mm -hmm. meetings oh, so that they really could be heard at our school board meetings. Is that and he no, uh, really was very supportive of that. It's it's wonderful what you did. That's really one. fantastic. I did one, but I expect it to be There will be a, a, a grading curve on this. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I got the answer right. <laughs> Thank you very much, Brian, and the whole youth council. I appreciate it. Okay. Any administrator? Any additional? Well, it's been about 95% of my time anyway. So. Yeah. Okay. Human relations. I completely missed the resolution you just talked about. It's to, Was it for? To allow me to exercise the SRF against the bond for the abatement of the wastewater plant and uh, services. This will allow us to uh, borrow money through the SRF bond by the state against our bonds uh, to conduct the smoke screening smoke and camera of the sewer system. <coughs> okay. <coughs> um, I don't exactly have a question as much as I have a comment. I understand that you moved um, this to the next agenda, but I, I would like to, not that it matters, but uh, I strenuously <coughs> object to a moving the city council meeting to the third Monday of the month. Good for you. I just wanted to. Can I ask why? Because that's the same night as Louisiana School Board, same night as the 
Bowling Green Board of Aldermen, Which same is? night as the Pink Bowling Pop. Green School Board, <laughs> same <laughs> night as the Pontiff School Board. And the reason I ask is because I'm, I'm not just making up a whimsical thing. There's a real reason for it. For the request, which is that we're very front loaded in the administration, and I can't get the information that I'd like to to this council by that time. So, by knowing that, I could ask is, is it it's just that Monday? Is would another day Tuesday now? would also be awful, but okay. Wednesday would be fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> There's, no, there's never any meetings on, on Wednesdays. Obviously, it's a church night. Thursdays are pretty clear, too, right, Dave? I yes. mean, they don't. Yeah. Newspaper would like that on Wednesday night. And don't even do it on Friday. <laughs> <laughs> By the time you guys report it in the newspaper, the following week, it'll be over. I, I, I understand, yeah. and I right. fully support that. But generally, I, I understand what you're saying, Jeff, but also with Wednesday, there's a better chance of things being more accurate because there's time to actually ask the questions that need to ask that can't really be covered in this Good point. forum. Good point. So that might actually work out. Good party there, right? No. Only if that's eating home cooked supper. I'm sorry? Wednesday. 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 Or Thursday. My, my, my whole thought here is to, to get the workflow to work better for everyone involved. That's understood. So that right, and it, it was just the, that would make essentially every single sure. meeting on the third Monday of the month. Which is the consolidate we're going to let. <laughs> yeah, I had one other. Um, two police officers have been hired. Mr. Mackey. Maskey. Maskey. M-A-S-K-E-Y. M-A-S-K-E-Y. Uh, first name? Do we know? Jason. Jason. And also for Mr. Turner. Jim. Uh, Jim Turner. Jim Turner. Jimmy. <laughs> the other one, Dave, is Jason. Jason Maskey. I think that's what it is. Okay. Very good. Thank you. My final question is about the community edge. What is the intention of the product? How will it be utilized? Okay. So, so there's a number of ways that it'll. Fall into place. The, the goal was to, and successful, I believe, was to augment things that we've already done and to um, address things that if we have boots on the ground, we would have a hard time doing ourselves. So this is all in preparation of bringing on a full-time professional economic developer. That's our that's our end game, and having that person step into the position well armed to, to have all the, the data and information that they need, including a full website, you know, that connects to your, uh, like, uh, the, the state uh, system, et cetera. All of that is already in place. When you hire that person, they come out of the gates with all the tools that they need. Um, so I don't know if that... that kind of well, I understand is. the importance of one coherent message. Is this something that, like, that video will be sent along with other materials to Absolutely. interested parties. Yes, yes. And you go, so you go with a packet like, like <coughs> And how much was spent on having the... $58,500, including the third piece. I'm sorry? $58,500, okay. including the third piece, which is the head And that was unanimously voted on, approved, and put mm -hmm. in the budget.